Lacking from who? Uh, where the ops at, bro? No, I ain't he said ops. <laughs> Y'all laughing. Y'all laughing because if it was real ops, you wouldn't be laughing. Oh, man. Drake and Josh raised us. Pooh Shiesty and Lil Durk raised these people. And then the girls had Zoe 101 and iCarly raised them. And now it's Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. Shit. First clip I want to show you guys is uh, this guy goes to these, I believe, high schoolers. He, yeah, I'm just going to watch it. Okay. All right, so I just popped up, man. I got three young men right here. They got Pooh Shiesty masks on, hoodies on. He got the, I don't know what you want to call this. And he got his hoodie on. Why do y'all wear hoodies and ski masks in this 90 degrees out here? Can y'all talk to me and tell me what's going on? Like, honestly. Never lacking. Never lacking? From who? <laughs> lacking from who? Uh, I, where the ops at, bro? No, I he said ops. <laughs> y'all laughing. Y'all laughing. Because if it was real ops, you wouldn't be laughing. Is that just something like you just want to do it? Like you just want to just say, I just want to do it because it's a fad or something? Facts. Facts, okay. <laughs> That's what it is. But y'all not hot? Really, you not hot? There we have it, y'all. They not hot. You not hot, bro? Sure. Wow. Well, I just appreciate y'all. All right, bro. Stay cool like you stay cool. Oh, man. That's how they're talking to, you know, the new Gen Z generation. Yeah, no cap. <laughs> nah, no it's not. It's the ops. Never lacking. This, it's troubling because, again, I see it in the black community, and I'm like, they see the poo shysties, mm -hmm. and they see the ESTGs, and the money bag yos, and the Nardo wicks. And the Nardo wicks. And everyone and their mom has the ski mask thing now. Mm -hmm. I thought that was going to go out of style after poo shysty got locked up or something. Mm -hmm. Nah, this thing has been on rampant. It really does does have a direct impact on the youth. Yeah, they take that, think that's cool, and I need to be protecting myself too. I was hoping the guy was gonna say, who you like it from? We're in the middle of Louisiana. Like, are y'all in an area that is, you know, no. very, very troubling to where, but at that point, you well, know. when you're in character, you have to stay in character, so. <laughs> well, they're at the Eagle Academy that's for right. young men. Yeah, right. right. They're outside of the YMCA, never lacking. And you gotta give it to them what they're like, probably 15 years High old. Schooler. The music, hip hop culture is just influenced them times 10. These generations are growing up too quick. Mm -hmm. I remember back then when I was in high school, I was worried about extracurricular activities after school, like Key Club or something. Mm -hmm. Now so it's like, never lacking. Were you lacking when it was? No, I didn't even know what that meant. I didn't even. Yeah. I didn't know what that was. But yeah, it also comes with where you're at and where you're, you know, where you grew up from. And the things that you consume. What are your friends saying? Who are who your you friends? You're not with. Yeah. And they don't really have a real reason for it, but it's like my one friend does it, so it's cool. So I'm gonna do it too. And Push Icy does it, so I have to do it. And you see them all together, birds of a feather flock together. He's saying, what are y'all doing? And everyone's, they're all. The one kid oh, didn't even, even talk to him, like, we gotta get away. The one just started walking away. But how do we feel about that guy just coming up to him and filming him and touching him? I'm yeah. not gonna go up to a bunch of kids and go, what are you never lacking, what is this? But I think that this was constructive. And these kids, in essence, look a bit silly because it's like, he did kind of just call them out. Like, aren't y'all just some young kids? And but it's exposing for what it is. Yeah, that's yes. so good that it's out. And I have a problem with the culture in the black community that's all about gang violence and never lacking and, that's, and fight each other. And it takes this black guy to come along and say, hey, can we stop this charade and the tough guy persona? Because all it does is end up in people of our own community killing each other. Can we stop and just play basketball at the Eagle Academy for young men of Southern Louisiana, whatever that is? Put your tank top on, put your shorts on, and take the hoodie off. It's 90 degrees outside. Do you think they're going to listen to that? No. No, they just want to be a part of what's cool. And the other 20 boys at this school said, this is cool. And think about the fast growing pace of the internet and how it's shaping the youth right now imagine five ten years from now and the thing is kids already alone don't like listening to the adults yes that's why we have ipad babies they don't know <laughs> the kids just are the power of yeah. no, ipad no. baby i said no like i guarantee you the one kid that didn't even speak he not listening no. but the guy is stating facts and he's just gonna go about his day and they're not even defending their position necessarily <laughs> you agree never, with me, right never lacking facts no what are you talking what are you doing what, you, what? Wait, why are you wearing it? who who 
Ops. Ops. Who? <laughs> Which one? Who, who, who do you have a beef with? Timmy down the street? Like, is that something you? that can be resolved? It's between <laughs> the other junior center for the youth from the city across the way. Is it the other Eagle Academy that we're beefing with? There's the Megan the Stallions. There's, like we said, the Pooh Shiesties, mm -hmm. the Lil Dirks. And we listen to all these rappers as grown men. And no, I don't want to go shoot something up because mm -hmm. I just listen to ESTG. Do you think the WAPs of the world, do you think the Lil Dirk shoot em ups and the Hot Boys have a true impact on what they are what they really do? Because yeah, they're dressing up like them. How much of an impact do you think these artists have on the kids? It does because it seems more accessible to the kids. I would say yeah, because there's, right? there's a reason why girls in our middle school were wearing Aeropost and Hollister versus the ones now that are wearing a push up bras and extra makeup and shorter clothing. That's facts. It's gotta be influenced from somewhere. Our middle schoolers saw the same girls on the beach and girls in high school that were older than them and didn't take as much away from that maybe versus right there at your phone when you're 13 and you can see you make this die and shake your ass in some tight shorts. But that's facts. Mm -hmm. That's facts. The boys and the girls don't look the same. Like when it was our era, it was Aeropostles, baggy jeans, skinny jeans. iPod shuffles. iPod shuffle. Skating Nintendo at the park. Yeah, skate at the park. Gaming. Now it's sh gangs, get naked and show everything. Dear God. What is going on? Because well, I saw something like that where a while ago when Lil Nas X even put out some of his music videos mm -hmm. that have been controversial. People are like, you gotta be careful what your kids are watching. And then he straight up said, control your kids. Tell your kids don't watch my stuff. Can't really restrict anything. It's all right there in front of you on this iPhone now. You can say, okay, it's the parent's responsibility. Mm -hmm. If you don't want your kid being influenced by A, B, C, D, E, F, G, then don't let them watch it. Yeah, don't look at that. The they thing go, is, they is that it's so popular They're gonna find though, it. is like in this, you know, culture that we live in, rap music and music videos and that sort of lifestyle is like people will do anything to do that. Mm -hmm. And, so, and so emulate the rap, that. And the emulate. rapper's music videos, they'll really be showing the extra blood spurts and mm -hmm. the, these like shootout scenes and I'm like, Jesus Christ. I mean, yeah, you look at a Nardo Wick music video, but he's the hottest, he's the youngest out. He's the coolest guy out. Yeah, so if everyone thinks that, okay, I'm gonna dress like him too then. Never lacking, with ski mask on in the 100 degree weather. And the smarter people, like the people that directed the music video and whatever, like they can separate the art from that. The white people running the labels just profit off all of it. It also sucks because even the artists sometimes know the effect yes. that they give to the kids and they still do it. Because they're getting a big check off of it. You gotta sell these people a dream and they're selling them the cool, the tough guy. A dream and, and but little Timmy doesn't know like oh that's a rented car well, that's not even I don't even know that person this is no, nothing here is actually real on mine and I actually owe a lot of money I have to make this money back Pooh Shiesty's in jail for five years how cool is that mask now he can't wear one in jail and then I wonder what would we be doing if we watched this in high school. Yeah, what would our... Would I... Would we be wearing these masks? I don't know. Bro, we grew up on Drake and Josh. Yeah, I didn't have as many influences as they have. Drake and Josh raised us. Pooh Shiesty and Lil Durk raised these people. And then the girls had Zoe 101 and iCarly raised them. And now it's Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. Shit. Back then you used to make Club Penguin accounts. Now you're making OnlyFans. <laughs> Mic drop. And there are girls that are in high school. They're the ones that are 18 before they graduate. They probably already started on one. Or they're even thinking about like, okay, I'm going to do that when I can. Holy shit. What do you think? Yeah. The Club Penguin versus OnlyFans, that was the hardest. That might have been the hardest no, statement fact, on this just, channel. You just dropped all the <laughs> Well, I was playing Bloom's Tower Defense, you know what I mean? Balloon uh, Tower fact. Defense. I was doing Blockus um, on his Patreon, private account, Snapchat exclusive page. And the young boys too are buying it. It's on every it's app, it's on every bill. Well, what, on what can be done about it? I guess this, right? Like raise, <laughs> raise awareness, like, yeah, maybe you didn't need to touch the kids, but you know, is that, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> All we can do is our part, at least spread the message and hope the kids that are in high school or that are consuming this at a younger age to just, don't take everything as literal as uh, what they're providing. Everyone wants a role model, but the only role models being shown to these kids are these people who I wouldn't say should, be, the role model. should yeah. be role models. Should be role models. And I almost feel bad because they're going to learn the hard way, I feel like. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, these kids never lacking, and then they get shot somewhere, and then they're, and then that's it. And then how cool is it then? Right? It's a, it's a scary time to be mm. raising kids. You can't even take them to the youth center. <laughs> The ops are there, Rob. We can't go. Damn. Homeschool, I guess. I feel like being a teacher nowadays is hard. I, I follow like this, there's like this teacher Twitter and there was like, yeah, I teach sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. They have said the most inappropriate stuff I've ever heard. But then there was a lot of people in reply saying that was kind of all of us at that time, but now we can just speak about it and everybody can kind of hear about it. Mm. But, but is it worse now than it was then? It has to be. Everybody's having their locker room talk. Yeah. As a kid. You know, we were all, it was fun to say bad stuff, but now the teacher was like, kick him up to me yesterday saying, do you like BBCs? <laughs> 
what she said, and I walked his ass right to the principal's office. Oh, and you gotta be careful what you say to the kid now. Yeah, being a teacher right now would not be fun. And like right. you said, with the promiscuity, back in our day, phones weren't even that technologically advanced, so even if you were looking at something, it was grainy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nowadays, we got the curved TV, iPad, double thing, all you can get. VR, VR. Oh, like you're there. The full experience, <laughs> virtual. Pick your category and ethnicity of woman that you want. So even TikTok is what, been around three years now? It's like not even that long if you think about it. I mean, musically was there before, but we don't even know the long terms of effects of this Boom. yet. So do we just wait till it just evolves into something else and see? Hopefully it kind of shifts. Well, this is the future of America is these kids. Yikes. Or on TikTok, if you see two mm -hmm. girls that are shaking some ass, as long as you like one of them, you're gonna get fed that. You're, you're exposed to these sexually explicit images when you're a young boy, whatever, you're looking at it, it's frying your dopamine. And by the time that you're 17, you're just depressed, slow. You don't even know how to talk to don't, people, you really. You can't talk, anxious, you take, now you're taking anxiety pills, and now you're uh, smoking a bunch. And then you're the next, I hate to say it, school shooter. And then you could be the next villain. Like, I hate to make that big leap, but. Yeah, or hurting other people, and yeah, yeah. Divorce rates higher than they've ever been. People reporting more levels of unhappiness than ever before. It seems like we're going down quite a dark path. Yeah, because this isn't a case of, oh, kids being kids. <laughs> like, nah. But then school. I think about the people that are actually already born up in gang related lifestyle mm -hmm. and they've are now seen these music videos now they're just doubling down on like mm -hmm. he did look at me the wrong way last week and they just pick, pick at anybody to yes. kill because i remember i watched the interview i don't know somebody on vlad tv and he was saying old head that's from whatever block or part he was like oh no yeah it be the young kids that are killing the most right now on my street and he was like it's the younger kids that are actually killing the people quicker bro like yeah. 16 year olds are catching bodies on instagram live and that's wild see this is gonna be a 30 minute video if i get going on this you see it and it's the cool tough cool thing to do that i would argue is one of the biggest problems within the black community and black culture in general in america they're killing each other at an unprecedented rate mm -hmm. for what reason they'll be the first to say black lives matter and, th and they'll see a cop whatever do something unjustified to a, bl a black person and go what this is outrageous yet we seem to turn in a blind eye to all the crime happening the black on black crime how do you fix that and you would say all right it starts at a young age like teaching the kids let's like work together mm -hmm. everybody wins and nobody he has to go through more problems and I don't know that's not cool I guess I don't know but then you got to combat it with nowadays you can be whoever you want and you have to let everyone be and say whatever and wear whatever they want so it's like you can't even <laughs> You can't even. I think this is just something to bring up and think about. Yeah. Who knew? I'm, I'm happy I grew up a while ago and not in this generation, but maybe to the younger kids watching, if you're in middle school, high school, whatever, all I can do with this platform is advocate to not be like this and not try to be a tough guy or not try to be a, one of these big celebrities that you see that you think is cool and that's what cool is. Cause it ain't mm -hmm. like being alive is cool. Not having to strategize for your, from your eyes. Yeah. Having multiple skills and good and cool talents. That's dope. Yeah, I seen this video on Reddit where there's like a street fight and this guy came. He wasn't even a part of it, but he was like a friend of the guy that was getting like jumped or whatever. Mm -hmm. So he went to go up to them like a tough guy mm -hmm. and he ended up getting stabbed. In the neck, I saw that. In the neck. In the neck. And he Bro, I, saw I, that. I watched it. Yeah. Watched and it. for what? Yep. And he just stood there and, and yep. bled out yep. and life's over just like that. Yep. He went in to grab his friend. His friend was dodging the knife. He went in to pull him back and he stepped in too far and poked as quick as a boom. Boom, that's it. All over what? Because someone looked at someone the wrong way and I'm a tough guy. Hey, why you disrespect me like that? Oh my God, you can't even make <laughs> yeah, sense. Who even cares? Like, Pick your role models wisely. And think about like the five people that you associate yourself with. And I don't know, maybe that plays an effect of how you, on how you act. And you change your friend group if you need to. Bro, and when you're in high school, you think shit matters. Like you really think your clothes matter and you think that people, other people's opinions matter. And then you get out. I've been out that bitch for how long? Seven years. Four, five, six, seven, yeah. Four, I don't five. think I follow more than five people that I went to high school with on my Instagram. Damn, I think I just unfollowed like five like yesterday. Right. <laughs> and it's not even like I was on some cool guy shit. Oh, I'm done with y'all. Naturally, just we just didn't even care about each this other. It shows you all the people that you were around don't really matter. Yeah, all the people that meant so much to me that I was trying so hard to want to be cool Please, in front of. To like, bro, I don't want nothing to do with that. Yeah, y'all, like, I'm. 
Yeah, what happens when your gang right here, your elementary gang, all goes to different high schools and it's like, okay, yeah, wait, what do I do now? You can't just be like, okay, I'm just gonna roll with my boys every day. Like, no, you have to like go to school. Yeah, you gotta like build your own identity on yeah, You can't just to, like, be a, a job, a push icy clone. Bro, on God, people just wanna be these clones. They see it and they wanna copy and paste. They should just be like their favorite YouTubers. Exactly. Watch we, more Strawberry Party. It's like, are we even role models? We talked about. We it. talked about this. That's hard. I'm sure we say things that people don't agree with. There's a lot mm -hmm. of things that they can look at us and say like, oh nah. They can look at someone they like and pick and choose what they like from that person. Yeah, that's what I do. That's all yeah. anything is. Though. Yeah, everything, right? Yeah, like I don't maybe like how they're saying or what they're doing, but I like that hoodie, so I'm like, get <laughs> yeah, you can take, take anything. <laughs> get the cool red hoodie. Get the cool. But you don't need to pull it over your head in the 90 degree heat. Exactly. You can wear it in the winter when it's fitting. <laughs> okay, right. we'll see. You. Bye. Never lacking. Uh, yeah, the ops. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. Never lacking. Yo, cut the camera. Cut the camera. Ops, my man. <laughs>